everyone. I am here with your Bible study. Tonight we are going to be focusing on 2 Corinthians. Um, the best they want us to focus on tonight is 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 11, verse 14. For Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. Mm -hmm. So beware that some people, that some priests, some nuns, some... You know, big members of the church, even people that go to church just on a Sunday that pretend to be good, not all of them are really good. Some of them are in disguise, like Satan is in disguise as an angel. So let me go ahead and read all of chapter 11 in Second Corinthians. Uh, Paul's going to be talking about the false apostles. Some people are just in it for the money, and some people are just in it to try to persuade others of a different way, an ungodly way. I hope you will put up with a little of my foolishness, but you are already doing that. I am jealous for you with a godly jealousy. I promised you to one husband to Christ, so that I present you as a pure virgin to him. But I am afraid that as that I am afraid that just as Eve was deceived by the serpent's cunning, your minds may somehow be led astray from your sincere and pure devotion to Christ. For if someone comes to you and preaches a Jesus other than the Jesus we preach, or if you receive different spirit from the one you received, the Holy Spirit or a different gospel from the one you accepted. You put up with it easily, though. But I do not think I am in the least inferior to those super apostles. This print is so small. I may not be trained speaker, but I do have knowledge. We have made this perfectly clear to you in every way. Was it a sin for me to lower myself in order to elevate you by preaching the gospel of God to you be of charge? I robbed other churches by receiving support from them so as to serve you. And when I was with you and needed something, I was a burden to anyone. For the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied what I needed. I have kept myself from being a burden to you in any way will continue to do so. As surely as the truth of Christ is in me, nobody in the regions of Achaia will stop this boasting of mine. Why? Because I do not love you? God knows I do. And I will keep on doing what I'm doing in order to cut the ground from under those who want an opportunity to be considered equal with us in the things they boast about. For such men are false prophets, deceitful workmen, masquerading as apostles of Christ, and no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. It is not surprising, then, if his servants masquerade as servants of righteousness. Their end will be what their actions deserve. Amen. Amen. You got somebody talking to you about somebody other than Jesus Christ being the Lord? Or being saved a different way than what you're supposed to be saved by. You're supposed to be saved through Jesus. You're supposed to accept Jesus into your heart. Let Jesus take control of your life. You have to believe that Jesus is God's Son. And Jesus was hung on a cross for our sins. And He raised from the dead three days later. And He's alive in heaven. That's what you're supposed to believe to be saved. And have your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Don't accept no other except that. And no other than Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Because there is no other. And the Spirit talking about, where was it? Oh! Sorry, sorry. I need to get a tripod so bad. I'm going to get one. I'm going to try to get one next month. Okay, let me see here. What did it say?
or if you receive a different spirit from the one you received. This what they're talking about here is the Holy Spirit. You don't want any other spirit in you that they offer. It's probably a demon. The Holy Spirit is the one that gets in you when you're saved. The Holy Spirit. That's the one you want. And you'll know if it's good or evil. You'll know. If you get saved through Jesus, you got the right one. Okay? So let me go ahead and read today's devotion. I'm so sorry I dropped the phone on you guys. Please forgive me. I hope I don't fall again. Um, okay, so... One of the most beautiful sights in Yellowstone is the Grand Prismatic Spring. It's the largest hot spring in the United States and the third largest in the world. Ferdinand Hayden, who led the first official expedition to the spring, said of it, Nothing ever conceived by human art could equal the peculiar vividness and delicacy of color of these remarkable prismatic springs. Life becomes a privilege and a thing after one has seen the thoroughly felt to me, it looks like the giant wild eyeball of a unicorn or some other mythological creature. The deep middle fades into every color of the rainbow as it radiates away. Sitting at the edge, you feel like you'd enter a magical world if you could jump into the spring phlegm. Reality, however, is that if you jump in, you will. The center of the springs gets 189 degrees cooling by bits to the outermost ring, which is a mere 131 degrees. In other words, it's a beauty that burns. The footsteps of Jesus lead us to deny ourselves, pick up our cross and follow him. It doesn't sound particularly alluring, but in his presence we find protection, peace, and fullness of joy. Every time I am lured from this path, it's because something else appears more appealing, more exciting, beautiful, and every time, every single time, I get burned. And that is by Gwen Ford Falkenberry. Alright guys, and here is our homework for tonight. Are you standing on the edge of a bad choice right now? Somebody asked you to do something maybe, and they really are teaching you to do it, but you really don't feel right about what you're going, they want you to do. To God about it. That's what he's there for. And he will, you will feel his answer in your heart. Do what your heart says and what you feel in your stomach. Because sometimes the best thing is not what somebody wants you to do. So if you feel uncomfortable about it, maybe you shouldn't do it. But that's, or maybe you should, maybe it's for something good, but you're disdained. I went through that. Different story with that, but talk to God about it. He will give you the right choice to make. Ask the Lord to help you see past the disguise and find truth in Jesus. I hope you guys have a great night. Have sweet dreams, and I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas.